So hi students, welcome to JS Academy. So in the previous class we have discussed about uh, different formulas related to slip and uh, rotor parameters. So today I will solve some problems related to this uh, particular concepts. Uh, so coming going to this problem, so we have we have to know what are the different types of uh, formulas. Okay. So what are the formulas required for solving the problems? So in the first, uh, what is the slip slip formula? You can see here slip equal to n s minus uh, n r by n s. What is this? slip equal to n s minus n r by n s? Second formula is scatter speed n s equal to one twenty f by p. Uh, third formula is n r equal to n s into one minus n s. And what is the formula for slip speed n s minus n r? So these are the formulas required for uh, solving the basic problems. Okay. So I will solve some examples related to this particular uh, uh, formulas. So you will clearly understand uh, what is the usage of these formulas. So coming to the first problem, so you can clearly observe here question one. A six pole fifty h induction motor has a slip of two point five percentage. Find the actual speed and slip speed. Okay. So what is they are asking? What is the actual speed and what is the slip speed? So in every problem we gonna write first given data. So what we will write? We will write given data. So when we write given data, what is the data given in this particular problem? So we are having uh, poles which are six. Okay. Next we are having uh, frequency which is fifty h. Okay. Which is fifty h. And slip, slip is equal to what is this? Two point five percentage. We already know that, so it is in the in the percentage. We have to convert into normal value. We have to divide this particular value by hundred. So we will get two point zero point zero point zero two five. So then what is the slip? S equal to zero point zero two five. This is the value of uh, slip, normal value of slip, and this is the percentage uh, slip. So what did they ask? They asked us to find out, uh, find out two parameters. One is actual speed. Okay, one is uh, actual speed. Actual speed is denoted by n r. Second point, uh, what is uh, slip? Uh, slip speed. So we already know both these formulas. Already I have discussed this uh, in the so in this here. Okay. So we have to we have to know what is the formula for. Uh, What is the formula for slip and what is the formula for uh, slip speed and what is the actual speed of the rotor and what is the formula for scatter speed? So this particular formula in this particular problem we will use this uh, formulas this one, this one and uh, this one. Okay, these two formulas we gonna use it. Okay, so coming to this when actual speed, what is the formula for actual speed? We already know that actual speed is is equal to n r is equal to n s into one minus s. Here we know what is the slip. And only one parameter we have to find out that is uh, n s. N s is equal to n s is equal to one twenty f by p. So n s is equal to so one twenty into fifty by six goes twenty times. Then n s equal to thousand thousand rp. This is the value of uh, this is the value of n s. Now coming to the form n r. So n r equal to n s means thousand thousand into one minus zero point zero Two five, so n r is equal to n r is equal to n r is equal to thousand thousand uh, minus zero uh, point I think nine seven five. We can go through calc. So you can type this uh, value. So it will be approximately nine seventy five rpm. And this is the this is the this is the actual speed. This is the actual uh, speed. Now coming to this, so we already find out what is the actual speed. Now coming to the slip speed, what is the formula for slip speed? For a, if you look at the slip speed, I'll change the color of the pen. So what is slip speed? So slip speed. So slip speed is equal to this is the second one in the problem. We have to find out second parameter. This is the first parameter. So slip speed is equal to what is the formula? N S minus N R, right? So we already know the value of N S. What is the value of N S? Thousand R P M minus N R equal to nine seventy five R P M. So the the result is twenty five. So we can clearly state, uh, state that uh, slip speed, uh, slip uh, speed, is equal to twenty five. Okay, slip speed is equal to twenty five. So both these values we have to find out. Okay, so we find out uh, both these values. So now coming to this, what is the value or is the actual speed of rotor? It is, uh, it is approximately, it is uh, approximately nine, nine seventy five RPM. Next coming to slip speed, uh, it is twenty uh, five RPM. So the both both these values we have found. Out, okay, this is the basic uh, sum, and we have used our formulas which we have stated uh, in the above. Okay, 
so now coming to the second problem so the rotor speed of uh, the rotor speed of 6 pole 50 hz induction motor is uh, 960 rpm calculate the percentage slip so in this also we have to discuss uh, uh, we have to know what is the value of uh, percentage slip again we will write uh, given given data what is the data given in the problem okay these are very easy problems so you can clearly understand uh, by using the basic uh, formulas so here poles is equal to 6 frequency is equal to 50 so 50 hz so induction motor is running at uh, running at 960 rpm and this is nothing but uh, rotor speed because the induction motor is running okay running at uh, so the rotor speed uh, the induction motor is running at 960 rpm now what is the we have to find out what is the value of uh, percentage slip what we have to find out find out uh, so what is the percentage uh, value of uh, slip so this one i have to find out i already know what is the formula for slip uh, so percentage slip uh, is equal to just a second i will change the color of the pen so percentage slip is equal to percentage slip equal to ns minus nr okay percentage slip is equal to ns minus nr by ns into 100 right so percentage slip is equal to what is the value of ns we have to find out the value of ns so for finding the value of ns we already know what is the formula for ns ns is equal to ns is equal to ns is equal to ns ns is equal to 120 f by 50 so 120 into 50 by 6 and then it goes to and it will be 1000 rpm okay so ns is equal to 1000 rpm so this is the value of this is the value of uh, ns this is the value of uh, ns so what is the value of ns ns is equal to 1000 rpm now our target is to find what is the percentage uh, slip so what is the formula for percentage slip so percentage slip uh, so percentage slip is equal to ns minus nr by ns so coming to the value of ns it is 1000 rpm minus nr is equal to 960 rpm so ns equal to 1000 rpm so it will be 40 by 1000 right so 40 by 1000 means uh, so 1 by 25 1 by 25 means uh, it is approximately the value is 0 0.04 and which is multiplied by 100 so it will be the so which is multiplied by 100 one second so which is multiplied by 100 it is multiplied by 100 so it will be so slip is slip percentage slip so percentage slip is equal to what 4 okay so this is the value of percentage slip this is the value of slip so this is the value of so percentage slip is equal to 4 4 percentage okay. so this is the basic uh, formula we have to find out so what is the percentage uh, slip so here we are given p equal to 6 poles frequency equal to 50 edge uh, speed equal to 960 rpm just we, by knowing the fundamental formulas we can easily solve this uh, problem okay. so this is little bit uh, concept oriented sum so look at this problem clearly okay so we already know so here the uh, here uh, if you look at this problem, so two 440 volts, 50 hedge, four pole, three phase induction motor running at 950 RPM and 750 RPM respectively. Determine which of the two motors is running at uh, higher slip. So it is a statement or a, it is a uh, statement related uh, question. So first what we have to do? So we have to take, uh, so what is this? Two, two motors means uh, I will take it as motor, motor one, okay, motor one. So this is, uh, this is motor two, right? This is the two motors so both are operating uh, at 440 volts uh, so if you take voltage so v is equal to 440 volts here motor 2 is also operating at uh, 440 volts right here motor 2 is also operating at uh, 440 volts uh, frequency is also frequency is uh, 50 frequency is 50 hz okay here also frequency is uh, here also frequency is 50 hz so both are having uh, poles uh, equal to 4 and poles is equal to 4 so and speeds so two motor one is having different speed and motor two is having uh, different speed motor one is spe having speed of 950 rpm and motor two is having speed of uh, motor two is having speed of 715 uh, rpm so here the question is in both these motors so here the question is what is the question so question is uh, which motor is operating uh, so which uh, motor which motor is uh, operating which motor is operating uh, at uh, at higher at higher slip means 
in both these motors which is operating at higher slip we have to find out so again what is the formula for slip we already know so what is the formula for slip slip is equal to so just i'll change the color of the pen yeah so slip is equal to so slip slip is equal to what is the formula ns minus nr by by ns okay here also what is the formula for slip slip equal to ns minus nr by ns okay so we already know what is the rotor speed we only we have to find out stator speed stator speed so ns is equal to 120 f by p right ns is equal to 120 f by p now ns so ns is equal to 120 into what are the pole how many poles we have four pole sorry we have 50 heads frequency and four poles sorry so we have 50 heads so we have 50 so we have 50 heads and four poles so for it will be 30 times and ns is equal to ns is equal to 1500 1500 uh, rpm so what is the value of ns ns is equal to 1500 rpm in the same manner we also apply here so ns is equal to 120 f by p so ns equal to again 120 into 50 by 4 okay it will be 30 and ns is equal to 1500 rpm because both are operating at same poles and same frequency only rotor speed is different so how the rotor speed will be different because the load may be different okay so due to that reason uh, here both uh, stator speeds will be equal but only the rotor speeds will be different now coming to the formula for uh, slip what is slip slip uh, slip is equal to so wait uh, slip what is the formula for slip slip equal to ns minus nr by ns so what is the value of uh, ns 1500 uh, rpm what is the value of uh, nr nr is nothing but uh, 950 rpm so nr is nothing but uh, 950 rpm divided by 1500 so what will we get uh, slip okay slip equal to just 550 by 1500 so you can uh, solve this in calc so you'll get approximately you know, 55 so 11 times and uh, 150 so you will get uh, a value equal to uh, 0.36 already i have solved this problem in calc So I have got uh, slip uh, as zero point three six. Okay, this is the value of slip uh, for motor for motor for motor uh, one slip. Okay, or you can write here for motor one slip uh, is equal to zero point three six. Now coming to the motor uh, two, what will be the motor two? So motor two is equal to same formula. So I will use another color. Okay, so slip so slip equal to N S minus N R by ns so s yes, equal to 1500 uh, 1500 minus what is the speed of rotor 715 uh, rpm what is the speed of motor it is uh, 750 715 uh, rpm so what is again uh, speed stator speed s equal to 1500 and s equal to 1500 uh, rpm so now if we subtract these both the values uh, we will get uh, approximately i will solve this value in calc so i got answer as uh, 0.523 what is the slip formula what is the value of slip so this is the value of uh, motor 2 okay motor 2 motor 2 the value of slip is uh, the value okay the value the value of uh, slip so value of slip equal to okay s equal to 0.523 now what is our question the question is uh, which is mod- which motor is operating at uh, higher slip so already we know what is the value of uh, slip for motor 1 so motor 1 slip of motor 1 is equal to slip of uh, motor 1 and slip of slip of motor 2 so what is the slip of motor 1 it is nothing but 0.36 and slip of motor 2 is 0.523 so we can clearly state that uh, we can clearly state uh, that motor 2 is operating at uh, higher slip so what is the answer for question which motor is operating at higher slip so which motor is operating at higher slip motor so motor 2 so motor 2 motor 2 is motor 2 is operating operating at higher at higher slip so this is the procedure for solving the problems so i think you clearly understood the problems so if you have any doubts in the formulas already i have discussed this formulas in the previous classes so you can go through that formulas and you can clearly understand okay so these are the different types of uh, 
problems we have to solve on this particular uh, concept so if you like this content please like share and uh, subscribe thank you